Welcome back. We've seen this on the clinks. Yeah. Mm -hmm. I think this game's gonna be close. Yeah, for sure. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Because like everybody, and this is something I talk to Cinderin about all the time, and he's not a big fan, and I am. Uh, I'm sure it's polarizing to a degree across the community, but everybody's just getting more farm in general. Do you like mm. that type of gameplay? We're going to oh see a God. burrow strike here onto White Mon. Wow. That is going to be a first blood for Alliance. Really well played. Savage getting forced out, too. It's a really nice job by S4 there. Basically, the standard play back then was you just do the avalanche toss, blink dagger, and you just blow people up. As we're going to see, mm -hmm. potential kill again here onto hand skin. Looks like the proc is there for 23 Savage. The burrow strike is going to keep them at bay. Hand skin. Gets outranged by the quote-unquote melee here, leading slightly with the top three net worth cores in the game right now. Yep. Very nice landing phase. Top's actually doing incredibly well. Ancient Seal with the Avalanche. There's the toss combo, and down goes Carl. If you want to like look up the items even, you can see Alliance. Hang on. All right, Nico Baby getting initiated on by 23 Savage into the trees. There's the dust. It just clips him. They do have some vision here thanks to the tree line here. Laguna Blade, and that is going to be enough. Onto the high ground he goes, really needing to find some kills here for Lions. Already at a 2k net worth deficit. Oh, oh they oh. eat the tree, Mystic Flare. That'll be enough. They have some pretty incredible team fight too, and they've yet to use Finger or Laguna. Both are ready. That's true. Somebody's gonna get yeah, bombed. We have TP support coming in. S4 gets a burrow, but there's the impale shortly after from White Mon. Wukong's command and the GA to follow. They just disengage now. A couple roar. TP's coming in. I hear a roar on the other side, but Cuckoo's all by himself. The Barrage and the toss is going to be enough to take him out in the meantime. Epicenter completely wasted as the Wukong command finally comes to an end. And this tier one tower likely will fall one way or the other. They're still incredible at team fights. Like if T1 can just get a fight, there's yeah. no GA. Oh. No, it's back up. Uh oh. Yep, it's back up. And Helm of the Overlord is also up with the big fat golem giving that extra HP. Limp jumps in, gets instantly hexed though, but there's the barrage oh. into the huge epicenter. Burrow strike combination with the Wukong's command to follow, but GA to try to counter, and now 23 Savage and T1 as a whole on the run. It looks like 23 Savage will get out for now, but they've lost three. And oh, Carl's gonna run right into no. Limp, and that's gonna be four death. Oh wait, Limp. right, use that on some creeps, just wants to get some farm in the meantime. Limp's just too good at tiny, he, he's just yes. multitasking the whole time. Yeah, it, it's the spell damage. You know, T1, their lineup is kind of reliant on momentum, and these fights, oh, oh no, not again. The toss back? Yeah, toss back onto the range creep. He's going to try to right click his way out here. You can see they Finger trying to be used from White Mine. He's going to use it, and Limp is getting extremely low, but there's a purification, and Monkey King goes down, and this might be another death for White Mine if he's not careful. And, and that's what would have made T1's draft like terrifying, right? Because Monkey King, yeah, he maybe only has Echo Desso, but theoretically, you're pushing with the Triceratops. He has like plus 120 attack speed because he's near the Beastmaster right. and just kills everything. All right, as we see another kill here, this time on Zephyr. Yep, there's the throw from Limp. Meanwhile, uh, Clinks. Yep. Barrage is there. Man, he is doing so much damage. What a I'm not balanced sure ability. Find a kill here, but yeah, hey, look at FNG. <laughs> <laughs> uh, even they know. Yeah, he's going to get nerfed. <laughs> All right, so of the ancient creeps, as we see another kill here. This time it's a pretty big one, but we're going to ignore it, Kyle, yes. as we always do in my cast at least. Enough. As we can see, the replay here, 23 Savage just soloed. Not really much. He tried to TP he out. Died. Oh, my God. He literally got solo killed. Yes, we're going to see a toss back in. Carl pops that BKB, but just getting completely right-clicked down, and this is oh. looking mega over. A Gaben level shellacking, I yeah. want to say. Uh, Clink Stoda, but also well played. I mean, Alliance, they had to execute the draft. It, it's a steamroll, sure, but that's because they found kills. They got blinks and then just racked up kill after kill after kill. So this is going to be a double racks. And I mean, I do, I mean, you've been a captain in the past. I'm sure there's some level from T1 side at least that they want to try to play against Clinks to see mm -hmm. if they can figure it out. Obviously, it didn't work this time around. Well, things pick, have changed. Pick me Necrophos, he said. I'll beat Mars. <laughs> Oh, Three deaths boy. later. All right, four step onto the low ground. Oh, they actually will burst down FNG. We'll see how much difference that actually makes here. Double BKB popped from T1. There's the Wukong's command, but nobody is within the ring. So it just delays a bit here. They don't even need the GA. That's 23 Savage on the tree. S4, not aware. They can just wait for FNG if they really want. See how cocky they are. I mean, they don't have Aegis. They could just wait for second roast. There's no real rush here for Alliance. Yeah, they're going to probably play it safe. they got a great ward in base, though. Well, all right, Burrow Strike initiation with the burning barrage and a couple of weird four staffs there. 
ping pong essentially there for uh oh, they kill three for cuckoo yeah they're just they're dropping real fast oh there's the ancient steel monkey king can't do much about this there's the mystic flare on top of it limp jumps in just to be able to teabag his enemy and now with the buyback onto the Beastmaster, it looks like it's going to be a dieback. Double kill for Nico, baby. GG's finally called. And truly a Gaven level shellacking. This was not even close from the beginning. Alliance. T1 is on the ropes here. They have to win now. Yeah. They're picking comfort, right? Yeah. That's really what they're doing. No, I learned from a, a close friend of mine who said that you have to follow the vibes. Oh, I see. Interesting. Yeah. Oh, we can see if the guys, top here. Oh my, first if, blood for Limp. You just can't pressure the lane, which is what you're looking to do here. FNG getting chased now. Nico Baby does jump in with the time dilation. That'll be enough as Whitemon now being turned on. The Glaives of Wisdom from FNG. We're going to get the plus two or minus two very shortly. Nope, he's actually going to be brought down beforehand. So everyone's going to say minus two now, I guess. As Cuckoo's working on a BKB for himself, but Hanskin setting it up there with the Spike Carapace, and we're seeing the first wall of the game. S4 and company are going to be able to take him out. I believe he's having it delivered right now, so he's actually ahead of schedule, technically. FNG, disruption with the Soul Catcher into the Burrow Epi, using that for a support silence, so they'll take that any day. Oh, Chronosphere onto three. See if they have enough damage to follow this up with. Get the one support. Here comes Limp with that Blink Dagger. Avatos into the wall again. Nicely done from S4, but there's the Hoof Stomp. Oh, what a stomp. Into the Impale onto three heroes from Handskin. Burrow Strike to follow, though, as Carl getting healed by Whitemon on the run. So Nico Baby did fall, which is a huge deal, but Limp can continue. Oh. Nice Avatos combo. Double kill for Limp. Right now, you can't go for that first target. First off, Deuce is tanky, but second, like, Abaddon's just waiting. You know, Whitemon is there. Yeah. You want to initiate, I'm going to immediately push. Oh. Gotta get the toss back. Yeah, that's oh. beautiful. Stone Gaze is there, though. They get the mana burn off as well. He's going to stay alive for now, getting back, back into it. They're going to get the tier one tower. He's completely out of mana right now. Where's Nico? And that half HP as well. There's Nico Baby with the two man Corona, but the save from Zephyr from afar. Now he has to focus on Abaddon. It's definitely not the target you want to go for. It's the epicenter Burrow Strike combination. Cuckoo pops that BKB. Looks like S4 got doomed and we'd be brought down in quick succession. So three dead right off the bat. And it feels like Alliance just can't do anything right it, now. It, um, you want to back up your Dusa, who it might be in some trouble. Totally alone. Yeah, All these Your hammer is coming. Avatos with a mana burn to follow. Global Silence as well. They will get the kill. No, man. 23 Savage. You see Hanskin just posturing over here. In his Vendetta. Gets off the hit with the Impale and Meteor Hammer to follow. Nico Baby comes in with a time dilation. It's going to be an easy kill on Zephyr. No, he actually disrupts himself for now. He actually hits the illusion first. Nico Baby does get the kill in the end, though, and time walks to safety. But here comes the epicenter burrow strike combination. Nico Baby's in a lot of trouble. Time walk gets all of his HP back. And away he goes. Yule Scepter, though. Burrow strike up in three seconds. A little. Okay, Chronosphere onto two, but he's completely surrounded. Vacuum trying to get him into the Chronosphere, but didn't actually work here. It's now the epicenter with the avalanche coming through from, from Limp, though, and the BKB activated. Trying to toss. Everybody aside, they do get the Sand King kill, which is pretty big, but now it looks like Alliance needs to disengage. Nico Baby, oh, oh! the Hoof Stomp, not quite in range. I just got flamed by Crit, because apparently he doesn't think Clinks is good, even though it hasn't lost in the <laughs> tournament. Oh, we have the Global Silence to try to counteract this initiation from Cuckoo, who now has to pop his BKB. S4 with the Lotus Orb. The Doom, okay, he saw that. He used it anyway, just wants to get S4 out of the way, it looks like. Just going to walk away, at least for now. Nico Baby in the midst of things. Nice mana burn on 23 Savage. Has basically no mana to work with. Pops that ult. Now the time walk away to safety. Huge from Carl. Looks like they did end up finding S4 in the end. And Limp all by himself here. Is BKB already down? He's just going to get chased as Cuckoo's Doom on himself finally wears off. And two really high value kills in a very, very awkward fight for both teams. Not go Butterfly and go MKB instead. Pretty much has to, I feel like. On Nico, yeah. You, yeah. you have to. He already swapped it. Okay. Oh, Nico Baby thinking about it. We, we see the wall. wall come out. Already all that mana burn onto Medusa. Actually ridiculous. Vax back in. Limp with the Avatos. Uh, and they're going to find the kill. Looks like T1 just abandons Medusa. Whitemon attempting to TP out. Looks like he'll be successful here. Okay. I'm gonna see, is there any big item coming up for T1? Like They have the Refresher now off cooldown once again. And the Timeless Relic 
onto Cuckoo. So he is about as farmed as he could possibly get. He is out of item slots. Look at this stalemate here. Cuckoo jumps oh, in. Oh, the carapace! Spike carapace, avalanche toss, though. Epicenter to follow from Ooh. Carl. A huge chronosphere onto three. Gonna take out Carl right off the bat. Going for Abaddon next. Procs that ult and then focuses on somebody else. Jumps to the other side. Nico, baby, continuing oh to kill the supports. God. And now the focus is on Abaddon. Look at this. Four dead for T1, including the Medusa Alliance. I can't believe like, that fight. I, poor Cuckoo. What a carapace yeah, from Hanskin. Carapace is crazy. Like, just straight up wins them the fight. That Chronosphere was enormous. Killed three. Yeah, they buy back on both Abaddon. Okay, Medusa and Sand King with that Again? alliance might want to back here, but we'll see if they want to fight. Vacuum. Cuckoo pops that BKB. They're going to try to focus with that Doom applied to Nico, baby. That is going to be the death of him. He does have buyback, but we'll see if he uses it. Limp now. Tossing one back, trying to get out, but it looks like he will likely die. But it did cost three very valuable buybacks on T1. Yeah. But they may look to just walk down mid. Respawn timers aren't quite long enough for them to go for a throne. Ooh. That's going to dispel the surge. So S4. Oh, Ooh. vacuum into the rush hit. <laughs> Spider legs still in the game. Not as good as before, but can still walk through terrain. And S4 takes a tumble. And this could be the end of the game for either team. This next fight. Determines it, I believe. 7k net worth lead for T1 doesn't really matter that much now. But Nico Baby's getting initiated on. He gets doomed. That could be it. Lotus Orb applied. The Burrow Strike going to bring him back into the fray. He does have buyback. We'll use it immediately. We'll see if Alliance can get anything out of this. Limp pops the BKB. White Mon kind of stuck on the outskirts here. Not sure if they can find him, though. His blink is up in one second. He has toss available. Doesn't want to focus on the Abaddon, though. All right, oh, so back boring. wall onto 23 Savage. You can't really go to the high ground now. There comes Limp, BKB pop from 23 Savage. Global Silence to follow though. No buyback. No Gotta stone gaze right now. Where is Nico, baby? He has his Chronosphere available. See if he can take anybody out. Mana burn again. Burrow strike to follow from Carl. Not able to find it, but there's a Nico, baby. Big Chronosphere onto three and make it five as Doom walks into it. Shadow is gonna be the first to die, but Nico, baby, taking so much damage. That's it. Triple kill for Cuckoo. And T1, that might be it for this game. Like, I just don't think you're expecting that. Like, the Doom isn't the threat. It's the three seconds of stun. Oh, oh my huge Whoa. back wall with the Avatos, but the BKB's activated galore, along with White Mons, borrowed time. I believe 23 Savage has a Deso on the way as well. <laughs> so it just wants to finish these buildings. This is looking like a 1-1 tie going to the game three as Carl Burrow strikes FNG with that Epicenter as well. That's, That's going to be an wall. easy one. Buys back in the game with the Global Silence to follow, though. Medusa. Pops that ult of hers and just going for the Ancient now. And you can see the split shot with the modifiers. Just focusing Toss on the away. Ancient limp. Okay, you can't hit my buildings if I toss you far away, but Void's still not up for 15, so the damage is going to be lacking. Limp is literally dying to split shot as Medusa is just <laughs> going for only the Ancient. And that is going to be GG. It, maybe this is the first or the second life to the pick in general. Yeah. Um, if they don't really favor the hero, it can still, a hero that isn't very good can still be great when it's yeah. last picked in the right matchup. Mm -hmm. So, yeah. you're very tall when you stand on your toes. <laughs> oh, yeah, you got <laughs> I, I thought T tried to do it too, so I'm like, Hi, oh, parents, can we go watch the game now, please? We can watch the game now, That's please. Cool. I've always liked Life Sither against Fen, and it's certainly strong against this support duo, the Ember, the Mars. Like, you know, this built in BKB is going to be very effective. Oh, boy. Big storm hammer, big even storm. bigger shockwave, though, with the oh, big the illuminate. High Everything's the getting bigger by the moment as Cuckoo and Carl on the run. Not sure if anything will come of this now. Is oh, I mean, I was so sure we were going to see a screw to the cliff, but he went shockwave. Yeah. Okay, we got some more damage onto FNG. Gets a scatter blast off, but there's the illuminate again. A little bit too cocky for Zephyr. Looking for a potential member. They're going to run into Cuckoo. Gets off a solo RP, but the searing chains are there to hold him in place. Illuminate to follow. Skewers back into the tier one tower. Limp it looks like he's just going to finish off Cuckoo with ease. Oh. So RP wasted. And we have a lasso on the other side. It looks like S4 is going to take a tumble. So a one for one for each respective position. Going for this ancient stack. Nico, baby. They know. Limp is in the vicinity. Actually misses the searing chains. FNG. Get the, oh, the action. Oh. The pink pole actually worked. Wow. Look at that move speed. Uh -oh. Limp, flame break. You can see the Mortimer's kisses. It's not going to be enough for him to save his life. But they, they already saw the play, so they know now just how to flame or... Right, right. Yeah, it's a whole... Oh my god, that Laguna Blade did absolutely nothing to limp. It's FNG. Gets off the cookie, but getting burned down very slowly by Carl. And Zephyr takes credit for that. <laughs> you take that if Quite you're a trade. <laughs>
pig pole again. Matt Carl is using the crap out of this thing. That's awesome to see. He gets the RP. lasso. RP to follow. Good layering of stuns. Is there enough damage? Oh. Yes. Cuckoo takes it, and that is a big kill. Whoa. Speaking of big kills, How Ice is, Dealer what? somehow dies. But look at this Chain Frost. White Mon. He is the. What? He got a lot of XP from killing that that coddle earlier. As you can, you check back every 30 minutes, and your standards just get lower, and eventually you pick something. It's true. Yeah, I can't argue with that. Cuckoo skewers out for the Searing Chains does connect. Limp gets it off finally, but there is the initiation from Batrider. Through the Mars Arena you go. LSA is not going to connect. A nice sleight of fist, but it's not going to be enough. The burst damage was there anyway, so it's going to be a one-for-one. One. Limp ends up getting Cuckoo as another pig pull. Man, he loves this thing. Paving the way for all pig pull users out there. Which is not you, apparently. <laughs> <laughs> Cuckoo has the Frost Shield applied. S4. Gets the spear into the arena, but 23 Savage with that rage comes through, trying to take out S4, and with that flame break will be an easy cleanup crew. And that <laughs> sing it again. actually dies in pig form. Doesn't count as a real death, by the way. I think the HP nowadays, and it's such a burst heavy meta, is just two value. That's true. Oh, big oh arena from S4. Oh. Delete the Lena off the map. Now the RP to follow is the BKB activated now. Onto Nico, baby. He's going ham, but 23 Savage is not really taking too much damage. Now he's stuck inside the Ignis Fatus. Nobody to infest to. Looks like he's just going to get right clicked down the old fashioned way by Nico, baby. Four for one. Amazing. White Mon TPing out to safety. And Nico, baby, is not going to find anything else with this God Strength. But still has another four minutes on the Aegis, so. Okay. <laughs> I'm not sure how much vision they have, but I guess we obviously have more of them, but that looked hilarious. Easy spear. And yeah, that's the disparity. Just so much more gold in the pockets of the Nico babies. One year. Correct. The, the law in regards to... Number of transistors doubled every year. Two years. Thank you. Oh! While we're talking about nonsensical things, 23 Savage is destroyed. You were right. So five man smoke for T1. We have the infest bomb onto Carl. And S4 is who they're going to run into. Not sure if they want him. Nico, oh, baby, in the vicinity, pops the BKB. There's the lasso. They want the Coddle. He's already expended Lotus. the will o -Wisp, but that is the Lotus Orb actually <laughs> applied with that, that lasso. So not much is done there. Rune oh, on to two. And here comes Nico, baby, with the globs from afar. And the disarm that you were talking about, 23 Savage, forced to rage TP out. And this was a disastrous fight for T1. Alliance looking to clean up. They'll find a second. Could have been worse, but not great. But one fight, T1 can start to turn things around. Empower will help Lifestealer outscale, and he's at a point oh, where he's powerful. Far Arena only gets one with the spear. That's the Lich. The shockwave to follow. As we see Nico Baby focusing on Cuckoo, has the BKB skewer away. So the Lich is to be the first casualty of this engagement. Cuckoo TP's out. Zephyr looks to be the sacrifice for T1. And with this, does Alliance go for more, or do they try to go for Roche, all right? We got the lasso onto the high ground, buybacks onto both supports. Alliance might need to back now, and they will do just that. Nico Baby with the swift blink, by the way, and has the leveler equipped right now. Will-O-Wisp, all right, with the ensnare, and there's the, the infest bomb with that nullifier and the chain frost. Lich did something, I can't believe it. They're gonna delete Coddle from the map to start this fight out, and Alliance, that sword's actually stuck inside his own arena. It looks like he's going to get dropped. No, he actually blinks to safety, surprisingly enough. But Skewer's no. not going to be there. 23 Savage pursuing, and you can see the globs forcing T1 back. 23 Savage forced to use his his rage as well. It does have the 25 talent now. Uh, they did get the caught off. Still kind of a weird fight, but Alliance had to use some relatively long cooldowns. Hey, Cuckoo is not connected. Oh, no. No BKB. Yeah, it's pretty difficult. Carl, getting caught out. Nullifier now onto Nico, baby. Look how fast he drops here without that war cry enabled. And there's the RP onto Ember Spirit. Can he get out in time? He does to the other side of the river, but the nullifier is applied again with the skewer, and that is going to be enough to take out the second core for Alliance. Oh my god. Call it three if you consider Coddle here a core. Like, there's yeah. really no way to... Like, nullifier, I'm telling you, is super ridiculous, and I can't believe more people aren't buying it. But we have the spear into the tower with the will o -Wisp applied as well. 23 Savage gets his rage off. Laguna what? Blade reflected, but they'll take that kill onto S4. There's three buybacks available for Alliance. They're going to have to use it unless they just want to give up this mid rack. That's as close to a, a naked Wind Waker that I've ever seen. I love it, too. You have the telescope, so that's really long-range save. That's true. Like, 
theoretically, if Sven doesn't blow somebody up immediately, that's when Savage just comes in and helps you try and kite. All right, second racks now. 23 Savage oh. gets off that rage. They pop God Strength. Oh, they should have right. seen it, too. Oh, yeah, they saw it. All right. Cuckoo sees it. Obviously, already infested, so they're just going to leave the DD for now. They're going to take out Handskin. There is the Nullifier. Oh, uh -oh. White Mon. All right, who got the DD? Oh, then. Nico Baby actually got it. He got Yule, so it gets dispelled. Pops the BKB, attempting to TP out, but the RP is there. And this is death number one. Does have a buyback, as does the rest of Alliance. But this is going to free up Roche for T1. 23 Savage now with Aegis. Yeah, that's the buyback. That's the big one onto Nico Baby. They just need to kill him one more time. <clears throat> Applying the pressure to this barracks now. Another respawn coming for the snap fire. There's the rage, and you can see S4 tries to use it off, but that is the nullifier. Literally zero counters other than, I guess, Lincoln Sphere. Limp on the other side gets lassoed and <laughs> weirdly gets stunned as well by Lich, but the deletion from Nico, baby, trying to apply all this pressure to Batrider as well. They'll get that double kill for Nico, but that is mega. mega creeps. A life stealer. He has rage. Not able to get it off quite yet. I have to get a couple right clicks off first and then Rage TP. No, he's just going to force FNG to try to run away, but the Nullifier keeps him in place. And now, looks like he will likely fall? Question mark? Yes. That is just the Aegis, though. Here comes the Mars Arena from S4 on absolutely nothing. Just using it for effect. The architecture is beautiful indeed, but there, the Halbert now onto the Life Seer, pops that Rage, and this is going to be the dieback for Nico, baby. Be the Infest Bomb as well, the Skewer to finish him off. And down goes Alliance with a pretty big lead this game, but T1 playing masterfully overall. And this nullifier has actually just changed the game's complex uh, complexion entirely. Uh, I this game no just words. over. I, I, Alliance, like, it doesn't... It didn't feel like they made any, like, critical mistakes, right? T1 just so scrappy, they just hang on.